Scott, this week we're hopping dimensions and we're checking out Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart over on the PC. And let me tell you, man, I was excited to jump into this. I've played the original and the second game back on PS2 way back in the day. So I was pretty excited to get my hands on this one just because I kind of knew what to expect here. I mean, this is going to be a vibrant, fun adventure with Ratchet and Clank. Being able to kind of jump into this new setting, kind of on my new computer here with updated graphics. I was just really looking forward to kind of seeing what I was going to get here and let me tell you there is a whole lot to enjoy with this game but you have a slightly different perspective you've never played a ratchet and clank game what did you think jumping into this one scott that's right i've seen the movie that's based on the first one i'm pretty sure i've seen that twice but other than that just some foggy dentist office uh, memories playing this game way back 20 years ago now so my memories are all completely thrown to the side because I know this is a big game. This is just smash numbers on PlayStation, and now that we're on the PC, I finally get my chance at it, and everything transfers over really well, the control-wise. I thought maybe, do I need a haptic feedback controller? And although I think that would have elevated the experience, it's not necessary in this case. But getting it onto the PC kind of illuminates that my PC is not the newest, uh, greatest in hardware. So. I had to turn it down a little bit. I think it was on medium settings for the most part, but yeah, the game same. still looks gorgeous. Even that aside, the very first cutscene got a little weird when the frame drop starts happening, but you can tell the detail behind even just Ratchet's eyes, Clank's eyes, just everything has so <laughs> much detail that I think would have sparked to life better on a PlayStation than my experience. But that aside, this game hits a lot of really kind of general tastes that I have. The explore very massive maps, and these maps have a lot of different hidden secrets to uncover, and that exploration is actually well rewarded. That's something that I look for. You're a little <laughs> bit more of a seasoned veteran. What stood out to you? Well, honestly, for me, Scott, I think the highlight for these games in general have always been the weapons and the different types of kind of goofy, awesome weapons that you get throughout this game. And that was the first thing I looked forward to kind of getting into because customizing which ones you use and which ones you like, depending on the enemies you get to play, they just give you so many options here. And there's always an opportunity to upgrade them, buy new ones, kind of switch out what you're currently using. You never kind of get stale in that aspect where a lot of games don't offer that much choice choice when it comes to the weapons and types of things that you get to use. So just seeing how creative the team here can get with the types of guns that you do unlock in this game has always been a personal highlight for me in these ones. Yeah, the pixelator was kind of silly. I remember there being a <laughs> dance machine kind of weapon from titles past, but I didn't see that particular. But there was the idea that you can level up these weapons is something very important to what I appreciated, the exploration. Gave me enough resources to kind of put a lot of points into that Hadron Accelerator and just blazer big boss fights to death because a lot of the big boss fights here are a standout as well. You get into these multi-stage or just incredibly larger than life set pieces moving around and it's really cool especially again when my computer started chugging however uh, you're jumping through these shattered dimensions in some of these boss fights it it's an incredible visual experience Scott, our time with Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart has been a blast. I mean, my expectations were high and they were met. I knew this game was solid when it was released on PlayStation 5. So coming over to PC, like you said earlier, just kind of exposes it to more people to enjoy this game. And I think even at the full price at $79, I think people are going to find a lot of value here. This game's a ton of fun. It's going to keep you in there for hours. If I've got to give this a score out of 10, I'm going to give it a 9, man. This one's been a blast all the way through. What are you going to score? Oh, as a first entrance into the series, I think this is a great place to start. Uh, I certainly had an amazing time. And even though it was a little cheesy at first, and I, I didn't really like the one-liners, they got better over time, and the <laughs> game just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I'm ashamed that I didn't get into the series much earlier. This is an 8 out of 10 for me. This is an excellent game, and I wish my hardware supported it just a little bit better. 